Hey guys, welcome back. Here in this video, I'm going to show you the Lineage OS 15.1 ROM based on Android Oreo 8.1 on Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, how to flash it and its features. If you are interested in more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and also make sure to hit the bell icon for instant notifications on everything new in this channel. So first let's see how to install this ROM. You need couple of things. First one is an unlock bootloader and then you need a custom recovery like the TWRP, Lineage OS 15.1 ROM, G apps file and magic for routing. So once you have unlocked your bootloader and flashed the custom recovery, boot to the TWRP recovery. First you will get this screen, swipe to allow modifications and this is the TWRP recovery home screen. Before wiping the current ROM and flashing a new ROM, there are a couple of things you need to do first. First one is to take a complete backup of the current ROM and transfer it to your PC. For that, click on backup and backup system, data and boot partitions. More than this, EFS partition backup is a must because sometimes when you flash ROMs with different Android base, you might end up with no IMEI or base band. In such cases, EFS partitions will be useful. Simply use the restore option on the TWRP and restore EFS to get your phone into working condition. Next step is to flash the ROM. First you need to wipe certain partitions, go to wipe menu, advanced wipe, here you can select cache, data, system, vendor and swipe to wipe. Do not select internal storage if you have important files or pictures on your phone. Now connect your phone to the PC, transfer ROM file, gapps file and the root file, click install from the home screen, first select the ROM file. Click add more zips, now select the zapps file, again add more zips and select magix and swipe to confirm the flash. The flashing process might take around 3 to 5 minutes. Once everything is done, select reboot system to boot your phone back to the lineage OS. This is the initial setup. Fingerprint sensor is working but it is slow compared to MIUI ROM and sometimes you have to tap the sensor once or twice to get your phone unlocked. Let's open settings, system, about phone and as you can see this is Lineage OS 15.1 with Android Oreo 8.1. I have been using this ROM for a while and the latest version of the ROM I have tried is April 25th build. This is the tripjet launcher you find in all Lineage OS ROMs. You can swipe down on the home screen to bring up the notification drawer. Long pressing on the home screen takes to the launcher settings where you can add widgets, change wallpapers and if you go into the home settings you can change Change the grid size, icon pack, under more home settings you can edit icons and widgets on the home screen, enable landscape mode, swipe down for notifications, enable google feed integration on the left side of the home screen, you can change icon shapes and you can enable and disable notification dots. You have audio effects app to customize the audio experience, nothing special about the camera app and the ROM passes safety net check. This is the network and internet menu, Wi-Fi works fine, VVLT works but it is a hit and miss. Sometimes it did work for me and sometimes it just stopped working after 2 days of use. Video calling is not there, hotspot is working fine, Bluetooth is working but there are some issues with calls via Bluetooth headphones. If you have connected to a Bluetooth speaker then it should be fine. GPS and location services work but there are still few things that needs to be optimized. And this is the apps and notification tab. Here at the top you have the recently opened apps, notification settings for all apps, app permissions and under advanced menu you have uh, the default apps where you can set the default app for launcher, calls, messages, browser etc. And under special access you have picture and picture, usage access and some other settings. Under battery tab you can enable battery percentage on the status bar, adaptive brightness, adjust power saving features, sleep timer and ambient display. I have tried ambient display feature and it didn't work well. And at the bottom you have app usage since full charge. Fast charging works fine with this ROM and with official Mi charger it took me 1 hour 55 minutes for full charge with power on mode. 
Under display options you have live display to change the color tone of the display according to the time of the day and you can manually color calibrate the screen also. Under advanced display options you can change the style, you can select either dark or light or you can set it to automatic according to the wallpaper used. You have rotation settings, font size, display size, expanded desktop and screen saver. This is the sound tab. And this is a storage tab. You have inbuilt storage manager here. And our security and privacy, you can set screen lock, fingerprint lock, and like I said before, the fingerprint sensor performance is just okay. Under system tab, you have language and input settings. Next, we have buttons menu. Here you can customize layout and actions for the on screen navigation buttons and also volume and power buttons. You can end call by pressing the power button. You can long press the power button when the screen is off to trigger the flashlight and some other gestures and actions for the buttons. You have three system profiles, automobile, default and silent and you can also add new profile based on your preferences. Under status bar settings, you can enable quick pull down, enable network traffic monitor to show current network traffic levels in the status bar, enable and disable system icons that are shown and couple of screen brightness settings like adjust brightness by sliding across the status bar. Audio works fine with speakers and with headphones and there are no issues with the video playback. And regarding benchmarks, NT2 version 7 score is 1,17,251, Geekbench 4 single core score is 1,335, multi core score is 4,664 and with Nina Mark 2 it is 60.1 frames per second. So overall it's a good drum, Lineage OS feels much much faster than the stock MIUI. Now we can definitely feel the change with the new Snapdragon 636 processor. But there are few issues like I said, Vivo LT is a hit and miss, no video calling, Bluetooth calls have issues and focus issues with camera app while recording videos. You can definitely give this ROM a try but it is not completely stable. That's it for now guys, thanks for watching and I will see you soon in my next video.